Hello everyone, I hope you are doing good and staying safe. Welcome to yet another interesting tutorial on subqueries in SQL by Simply Code. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss how to use subqueries in SQL with references to few examples and look at some different types of subqueries written in SQL statements and implement them in MySQL Workbench. But before we get started, if you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed already, consider getting subscribed to our channel Simply Code to stay updated with all the latest tech content and hit that bell icon to never miss an update from us. So without any further ado, let's get started with today's topic. So what is a subquery? An SQL subquery is a query which is written inside another query. A subquery is usually added within the WHERE clause of another SQL select statement. In a subquery, the outer query's result is dependent on the result set of the inner query and that is the reason why subqueries are also called as the nested queries. A subquery is also called as an inner query or inner select while the statement containing the main query or the parent query is called as the outer query or outer select query statement. Now the inner query executes first before its uh, parent query or the outer query so that the results of an inner query can be passed to the outer query. Let us understand this uh, with an example here. Now consider this syntax over here which is followed as select employee name department from employee where salary equals to select maximum salary from employee. Now select employee name department from employee is the outer query and the rest part is the inner query. Now when the above query is applied to the given employee table, here the subquery is executed first which select the maximum salary from the employee table. Then the resultant is the passed onto the where clause of the outer query. Now this outer query is executed which selects the rows, in this case the employee name and the department from the employee table where the salary is equals to the resultant of the subquery which is the, it selects the maximum salary from the employee table returns the final result. So let us now look at the types of subqueries uh, that are used in SQL. Now subqueries in SQL are majorly used with insert, delete, select, update statement along with the comparison operators like less than equals to greater than or equals to between in and etc. Uh, Subqueries are used to execute a query dependent on the outcome of another query and it allows the user to uh, fetch the results without writing two distinct queries and it is time saving as well. So now that we have understood what is subqueries and its different types, let us jump into MySQL Workbench uh, to execute the various subqueries that are used in SQL. So as you can see MySQL Workbench has started and we have various tables in our database simply code such as customer, department, employee, employee one and so on. Firstly let us discuss the subqueries using the select statement. Now in SQL in most of the cases we use the select statement to perform the subqueries. So for that let us consider the table employees one here. So let me just display the records that are present in the table. For that I am using the select statement. Select star from employee. One. So let us run the query and see the uh, records. So as you can see the employees one table has various columns such as employee ID, first name, last name, email, their phone number, hiring date, job ID, salary, manager ID and department ID. Now let us understand this concept with the help of an example uh, for executing the select statement using the subqueries. Now let's say if I want to find all those employees whose salary is less than the average salary of all the employees that is present in the employees one table. So in this scenario we'll use a subquery to get those employees whose salary is less than the average salary from the employee table. And the following query would be select. Now since I want to display all their records I'm using the star operator from employees one where salary is less than and within the parenthesis we have to mention the subquery that is select average salary from employees one table. So let us execute the statement and see the output. Uh, there is a render in the code just let me check. So yeah, I forgot to mention the parenthesis here. Uh, make sure you uh, write the subqueries always within the parenthesis, otherwise it will show an error here. So now let us understand this query and let us break this query statement to understand in a better way. Now here the query to find out the uh, average salary is the subquery here. That is the select average salary from the employee one table. 
So let me just execute this statement. So we have the average salary that is 6708.66. So now the outer query takes the result of this inner query, which is basically the sub query and executes the remaining SQL command based on the result. So the sub query first returns the average salary that is 6708 and this result is passed on to the outer query which fetches the details of all those employees who is having salary less than the average salary that is 6708. So when I execute this statement it will display the employees of all those uh, records who is having salary less than 6708 that is uh, 2600, 4400 and so on in this way. So in this way you can use the select statement to perform the subqueries in SQL. If getting your learning started is half the battle, what if you could do that for free? Visit SkillUp by Simply Learn. Click on the link in the description to know more. Now, other than uh, the SQL select statement, SQL subqueries can also be used with the insert statement. In the insert statement, the data returned from the subquery is used to insert the data from one table, that is the existing table, into another new table. Now let us consider the employee table here. So let me just display the records. Select star from employee. Uh, let me just display the records now. So the employee table has various fields such as employee ID, employee name, age, designation, city, total salary, date of joining, department ID and bonus. Now, if I want to copy this uh, data from the employee table into a new table, let's say employee new table. So I'll ha I can use the sub queries with the insert statement here. So let me just create a new table here and the query is followed as create table employee new. Uh, the employee new table has the employee ID, employee name, designation, total salary, that's it. So I'm taking primary key as employee ID as it uniquely identifies the each record in the table. So let me just execute the statement. Now I'll use the select statement employee new. Now as you can see the employee new table has various fields employee ID, employee name, designation and total salary but we do not have any values that are present in the employee new table. So we'll use the subquery using the insert statement to into va insert values into it. Now let's say if I want to insert the values from the employee table that is the existing table whose salary is uh, greater than 30,000. So I want to fetch only those records from the employee table into the employee new table whose salary is greater than 40,000. So the following query would be insert into the new table that is employee new. Select now, since we are uh, only concerned with the employee ID, employee name, designation and total salary, we will mention only those columns, employee, employee ID, employee name, designation, total salary from the previous existing table that is our employee table where total salary I'm using the uh, in operator here and within the parenthesis I'll write the subquery that is select total salary from employee where total salary is greater than 40,000. Close the parenthesis and let us execute this statement now. So our statement has been successfully executed. So let me just display the records again. Select star from the table employee new. So as you can see, it will uh, insert only those records for all those employees, total salary is greater than 40,000. So we have only two employees, Kiran and Ajay, who is having salary as 50,000 and 60,000. 
Now the insert statement basically specifies that new data is added to this table that is the employee new table and as we are copying all the data from the employee table which is our existing table to the new employee new table there is no need to specify the column name in the insert statement otherwise you would need to mention the column name in which you want to add the data. The only thing that you have to keep in mind is that the table structure has to remain the same even if the column names are a bit different the column data types have, must remain the same in order to insert the data using subqueries from one table to another table. So in this way you can write subqueries using the uh, insert statement as well. Also in a similar way you can use the update as well as the delete statement to modify the existing data that is present in the table. To know more about it make sure to check out our SQL full course for beginners 2022 on our channel. So that brings us to the end of today's session guys that was all about subqueries in SQL. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you found this tutorial informative and helpful. If you have any further queries regarding any of the topics covered in today's session, feel free to let us know in the comment section below and a team of experts will be more than happy to help resolve all your queries at the earliest. Until next time, stay safe and keep coding.